Hello all you YouTubers, Wallington filming, painting, decorating, trade secrets and I've just got a little bit of a handy uh, tip for you today uh, regarding your um, your glossing rollers etc and how to store them, okay? So, first of all, what you need to do, get yourself like a, an empty two and a half litre tin, this is an acrylic primer tin, this is empty, okay? Uh, just excuse this one because it is a little bit dirty on the inside, but I'm just using this one for demonstration purposes. Now then, whether you're in the trade or not in the trade, okay? You're gonna have some sort of roller that you're gonna use for glossing or undercoating doors, okay? And you're going to need to store that somewhere and keep it relatively clean and ready to use at a moment's notice. Uh, most people, what they tend to do is just get, like I say, get themselves a two and a half litre tin. Okay, it's a plastic acrylic tin. Fill it with water or half fill it with water and they will just store their, their tools in it. Uh, they'll just store their brushes in it, glossing or an undercoat or even rollers like I say. They'll just store, then they'll cover them over. They'll put water in so it covers the actual roller or the brush, uh, which stops it from going hard, okay? As you can see from this example here, I've got quite a lot of uh, emulsioning brushes in this kettle and it's half full of water and um, that stops my brushes from going hard and I can use them at a moment's notice. Now what I've done with this particular one for, um, for, for rollers is I've took the lid okay, from the two and a half litre uh, acrylic tin, took the lid and I've just drilled down holes as you can see. Now all you've got to do is just get yourself some form of drill, rechargeable or whatever and then get yourself them, um, them round cutting discs that the carpenters use for drilling a, a, a big hole through a piece of wood and just drill yourself either two or three holes through there, okay? Then, as you know, the roller's got, got, its, uh, it's, got its arm. All you've got to do is just put that over there or even, even with your brush as well, just place them through the holes, okay? And this is ideal for storage when you're, you're, you've got your kit in the back of a, a car or a van. And then just push the lid down. Because you've only got two or three holes in there holding two or three brushes or rollers. You've got water in there so if you're driving around over bumps etc. The water's not going to be, uh, the water's not going to find it that easy to splash all over your car. Okay. So as you can see with that. Just two holes, one with a brush. I've got, I've got one with a brush there. There's my roller, okay. And that's quite, that's quite secure now. So I can put that in the back of my car or my van, and uh, even if I go over some speed bumps, etc., the water's hardly going to come out of there. So that's a good idea. Turn off lead, acrylic tin, plastic. Take the same lid, drill two circular holes through there. And that allows you a couple of rollers and a brush or whatever. And uh, then all you've got to do when you come to reuse it is get yourself a, some form of screwdriver or whatever. Just unclip it and away you go, as you can see. Fantastic idea. And uh, you should find that quite helpful. And that'll keep your, your roller or your brush from going hard because you've got the water inside. Similar sort of thing with that. Uh, a lot of other painters they do tend to keep their undercoat gloss brushes piled up like that, but you know you've got to be a bit careful because you don't want them getting the skin all over the bristles and that. Okay, so that's uh, that's all you've got to do really. Two holes in there. Plastic container or even a, a, a glossy tin or whatever, but that much difference really. 
So anyway, Wellington filming, painted decorating, trade secrets, hint and tip how to store your uh, gloss in an undercoat, undercoat rollers, uh, and then turn off each tip. Thanks to my subscribers. Uh, don't forget to subscribe yourself, leave us a comment, thumbs up, etc. Always got new videos out coming out. So until next time, catch you later.